Okay, in today's blog we're going to cover uh, customizing your draft file to include your company's title blocks and templates. So to begin with, um, I came over here and I started a new, a new file. And remember over here on the left hand side you have out of the box templates that come with Solid Edge. These are, these are free, you can use use these that will modify them, change them. If you notice here I have a couple of template uh, sub template folders that I've created and I've actually put templates in. Uh, this folder structure here and these templates are located on your hard drive in your installation directory. So wherever you installed Solid Edge there is a folder named template. Within this template folder you'll see the same structure that you see whenever you start a new file inside Solid Edge. So you're starting with first look all the way to UNI metric. The same folder structure appears here if you wish to add your own. It's as simple as creating a new folder, dropping it in, and then copy and pasting your solid edge files in there to begin using as templates. Uh, another point is, another point to touch on is that these files that are located within this template directory are standard everyday solid edge parts, solid edge files, I mean. There's nothing special about them. Solid Edge doesn't have quote unquote templates. It doesn't utilize those. It just automatically recognizes these files as templates because they are located within the template folder. So once you copy and paste or drop in a, a part file that you wish, or a part file, sheet metal part, draft file that you wish to use as a template, you drop it into this folder here. Solid Edge automatically recognizes it as a template and you can use it like you normally would any other Solid Edge uh, temp. Uh, part file over here, start your standard templates. You start one, creates a part, you save it, it automatically saves it with a new number so you don't have to worry about over saving. The only way you can do that, we'll, show cover, we'll cover that here in a little bit. So to take a look at uh, some of the standard you know, out of the box uh, templates that come in here, especially with the draft, you do have one, you, again you have different standards that you can choose from. You can choose the ANSI inch template for draft this is out of the box it has a title block down here at the bottom this happens to load up with the D size you may, yours if you try this maybe it'll different it's just the way I got my computer set up this is a D size template basic border uh, if you're creating your own title blocks you can use this as a guide or use one of these files as a guide and you can utilize some of the callouts that are automatically placed in here that way you don't have to create them back create them yourself just use reuse what's already given to you or you can actually copy over open a DXF file or you know a template that you may have stored and you can just copy and do the same thing to create your own title block as I go through the steps here so if I look at this I'm working I'm, I'm viewing the working layer or the, the working the working sheet and this is where you would normally come in and drop a view and start creating your actual draft putting in your information if you want to edit this, the first thing you have to do is come over to your view tab and change over to your background layer. So as default, it will load up in the working layer. So what you want to do is turn on the background layer. And when you turn on the background layer, notice down here at the bottom, I have a new set of tabs. I have my sheet one, and then I have a series of blue tabs. These blue tabs represent my sheets. These are the title block sheets and the formats that I have pre-saved according inside this template. So out of the box, I'm given an A size sheet, a B size sheet, C and D with corresponding title blocks. So now that I'm in the background layer, I can simply select my A size sheet. Notice how the page shrinks down. I can maximize that. This is my A size sheet, B size sheet, a little bigger border, C and so on. Each one of these represents a new sheet. So if I go back and I turn off my background layer and I add a new sheet, it's automatically going to add a D size sheet. Well, how do you change that? Well, if you right click on the sheet down here, you can actually go into the sheet setup. In the sheet setup, you'll have a tab called background. Here you can cycle through the available sheets you have. So if you want to go to an A size sheet with an A size title block, you can OK. And now your second sheet is a little smaller. First sheet's D size, second sheet, second second sheet is A size. If you add another sheet, again it automatically defaults over to D. If you wish to change that, simply go into your sheet setup, select a new sheet size, and this time save it as a default. 
now any new sheet that you load will automatically go and load to wherever you saved as your defaults. So now great, how do you edit these? Now, how do you get your title block to do the same thing? Well, I already have one that I've pre-started and you can see here this is my size sheet. If I go over to my background layer, I'm going to turn off my working layer and what you'll notice on your screens here, you may not see it in mine, but whenever you start working with your background sheet, you'll actually see a watermark that says background. So in here, I'm just looking at my background level, and you can see that my A size sheet has a couple of extra lines. To create your own title block, it's as simple as going over to your sketch tools. These are just basic lines that I created to start creating my block. You can use your snap tools, sketch tools, anything to create your block. Now, of course, you wouldn't dimension it. I've got that setting on right over here in my IntelliSketch to automatically dimension these. So you wouldn't need any dimensions. You just need to go ahead and just kind of sketch some lines out. You can create your own block, edit your block after you get it into the system. If you don't want any lines, you just simply use your fence select tools to get rid of lines. You just hit delete. You can edit any one of these. You can create blocks, even like I have here. This is a block that I have. I can double click it. I can go ahead and edit blocks. That way I can just go ahead and more of consolidate more of an AutoCAD type thing. Create blocks, put your information in there, and then reuse that block over and over again. So I'm going to concentrate over here on my A size sheet. Here I have my title block information and notice that when you do go into the background layer and you actually see it show up, see, background layer, um, you're actually, you can actually select the items over here on your title block. So if you had a generic title block and you wanted to go ahead and bring in, say, your own block that you had from a DXF, it's as simple as highlighting what you want to copy over. So in this instance I can highlight this entire border area. Highlight what you want, hit Control C, or you can come over here to Home and hit Copy. Puts it inside your clipboard. Now, say I wanted to go ahead and add a new sheet, so I can come down here and I could go ahead and say Insert a Sheet. You can see I have a brand new background layer. I'll go into the sheet setup, and starting off with the size, say I wanted to go ahead and get an A tall. I wanted a vertical size sheet, so I go with A tall. Come over and give it a name. and hit OK. There's my new piece of paper. Let's go ahead and fit it into place. Now for my title block information. Well, since I already copied the previous one, I just hit Control V and there's my information. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of eyeball it here. You can actually get in here and actually, you know, specify certain distances that you want to keep from the outside of the paper. You can do that as well. So I'm just going to drop it in here and notice I got to go ahead and adjust these lines. Now I can come back to my sketch tools and I can come in and just sketch out a new you know the new top line of my border I could sketch it out this way again you can use your sketching tools so you can move lines accordingly you can mirror if you want to get these exact and again you can go ahead and select the lines you don't want delete them out and then using your trim and extend commands you can go ahead and trim the quarters of your new title block Okay. Now, if there's any new data that you wanted to add in here, you could. You know, the simple text, if I wanted to change this, I could add the text in just by simply selecting and editing it. Looks like it's going to be a little too big, so let's go ahead and take down the size. Let's go ahead and put this at three quarter inch. There we go. Any new callouts? Again, you could add them in using your callout reference, your property text, you could add those in. Now notice this title block's a little big for this sheet, so what I'm going to do is again use my sketching tools. I'm going to come over here to my scale, and I'm going to select the title block area, and I'm just going to go ahead and scale it down. Now if something doesn't go, like notice that the callouts may be a little bigger, you can always fix that later. You can always come in and select by holding down control select the guys that are a little too big and you can go ahead and scale that down notice I've got two extra file types in there so let's go ahead and put a quarter inch scale. yeah there we go once you get the title block just the way you want it you're pretty much done with this step this is now I got an A tall size sheet so what I need to do now and a real important step go ahead and just switch over you can keep it on this one but what you want to do is go back to your working layer 
The reason we go to our working layer and turn off our background layer is because whenever you start the new draft, again, starting from your templates, you want to go ahead and begin in your working layer. If you begin in your background layer, as soon as you start drafting in parts, you're going to put them on a different layer and that'll show up every single time. It'll show the same part over and over again. It's going to get tied to the actual draft. So always turn off background, select working. Next thing you want to do is save as and drop it in one of your template folders. So either the one that you created, especially for this occasion, if you have your own setup already, you can come in here and just drop in the draft file, same as saving as. Go ahead and save it in there. And what you want to do then is go ahead and close out from your draft. Okay, now that it's closed, you want to go up to new. We'll go down to our standard templates and you'll see there's my swoosh ed 2, my second edit. I'll go ahead and hit OK. Pops up, here's my draft. Now I can go, it doesn't have the swoosh ed anymore. Swoosh 2 ed, so the file name already changed. And if I want to add a new sheet, again, come down here, insert a new sheet, go to my sheet setup, and say I wanted to go ahead and use my ATOL for this one. There's my ATOL. If I wanted to ATOL, it automatically be the next generated sheet. Again, go to your sheet setup, save as default. Now, each additional sheet that you add will be the ATOL. Okay, if you need to tweak this again, simply just open up, go navigate over to your template folder open up that said file, work on it, click off of the background, go back to working, save it, or do a save as in case you don't want to, you know, override the previous one and kind of test it out. You know, once you get a good working one, you have to do it for each individual sheet. So, work on the first one. Make sure that all the callouts work on that first sheet, so make sure that whenever you drag in a part, everything updates the way you want it and once you get that one now go ahead and create your other side sheets because once you go once you create the other side sheets it's a little hard to juggle the title block information once it's already in there but other than that uh, thank you for taking the time to look at this blog and again this is part of you know we do cover this in our uh, fundamentals training uh, we do it comes up almost every single time everybody wants to know how to do it so we do cover this inside class so if you have any questions please just drop us a line email me or email Diana and uh, we'll get you we'll get you either enrolled in the training class or get you some help thanks a lot